everyone and welcome to step 11 day 11 of my 40 days of loving me journey where I love me more in 2024 here we are on step 11 day 11 I'm on step 11 Leo I woke up on step 11 Leo and I am loving it I really am I am so grateful for all the love and the work that I put in in the first 10 days I truly am thankful because I am feeling my own love and that is that's a blessing it truly is for someone that hated herself for 40 freaking years 35 freaking years it is so nice to feel my own love it really is it is so nice to finally feel some of my love so yeah guys I wanted to say the other day on step 10 because it was going to be the first day that my video was released but I realized because I release these at the moment that the Sun switches steps so my step zero was released on my step 9 day because step 10 moved to it moved from step 9 to step 10 afterwards so I would have had to say it on my step 9 day and I would have been off and so I'm glad that I didn't say anything but yeah this video will be released at on step 21 Leo at the hour the minute and the hour the Sun goes into step 21 you guys will see my step 11 video <laughs> so yeah also I've been redoing how I'm doing stuff on my mystic hillbilly YouTube channel I'm releasing some things. I think I might be letting Intuitive Tuesday go. I don't mean to show you my... Hello, Mr. Tuck. I called you Marshall. Marshall's the other dog. Tucker, you look so pretty! My gosh, he is so gorgeous. <laughs> I love that doggo. But anyway, guys, okay. So, yeah. Oh, what was I talking about? Step 11, I'm becoming. <laughs> the video will be released on step 21. My videos are being released and it's kind of embarrassing for me. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I'm real and authentic with these videos. So it's a little bit embarrassing. I don't really watch them. I just kind of hope that, you know, if somebody watches them, they get something out of it. I don't know. I just do it. I do it because, I don't know, it's part of my thing. There's Mr. Marshall now. <laughs> That's who I was calling Tucker earlier. Tucker's been cute. Oh, he's scratching his bully. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I'm excited about this journey, and I'm excited because I think it's gonna slow down a little bit now too. So that's gonna help. And yeah, I, I'm thinking about revamping the Mr. Kill Billy and changing some things around. I think if I do keep Intuitive Tuesday, I kind of want to simplify it or something. If I do keep it, I might not keep it. I might just have a pause in Intuitive Tuesday while I'm doing my self-love journey. You know, there's just, there's all kinds of things that we can do to figure out how to love ourselves more. I love myself and I love my day. I love my life that I've made for myself. I didn't love it before I hated it and um, I've learned to love it there's there's little pieces that I've learned to love throughout my day that um, well throughout going through serious joy sensei has really pep talked me into finding a life that I can love and to figure out a routine that I can love so most of the time I just love my daily routines today I wish that I could just stay home edit videos and catch up with stuff which is part of why I'm letting intuitive Tuesday go because I realized I'm barely going to be able to get my week stuff out this week because of everything going on because it's because I wanted to go out with my family I wanted to go out with my husband and my nephew and and today we're going out with uh my sisters and my nephew and my daughters and my husband we're all gonna go out to a amusement park that is gonna have a concert afterwards it's a old band concert and you know my husband's like I would I don't really want to see them as an adult but my childhood my teenage self is really happy and I'm like you know I've learned in serious joy it's very good to uh, make that child and teenage self happy I used to think that you know 
once you're no longer a child, the child you is dead. Once you're no longer a teenager, the teenage you is dead. Once you're no longer 20s, the 20 year old you is dead. But that's not true. She still lives within me and she still needs love and attention and all of them. So I think that it's a good thing that my husband is able to make his teenager self happy by going to this concert tonight with us. So I really am excited about it. I do. I'm a Capricorn. I wish I could just stay home and do my work. And that's the truth. I've got a oil mask in my hair which is why i've got it in braids i'm gonna keep it in braids because at the amusement park it's a water park and uh there's um there's a lot of chlorine in the water and it really is it's it's good for my hair to have the mask on while when when doing that because the chlorine will strip the mask before it begins to strip my hair kind of thing. So, I'm probably going to leave my braids in. I might take them down. No, I don't, I don't affect the mask. I'm, but I'm going to leave my braids in for a while. And, um, yeah, uh, guys, I just, I don't know. I'm excited about the day. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm, I'm nervous about what work I can get done and can't get done. I can get done a lot more work if I would quit distracting myself on these political divisive issues that don't mean anything i mean I, I love both people on both sides everybody on both sides they they have their their opinions and they, they want to protect people on both sides they love people on both sides so I'm, I'm trying not to get distracted with nonsense like that and to move on again i you know i won't ever tell you my political affiliation the closest you ever got is on my step 10 <laughs> 2024 video so that's the closest you'll ever get for my political affiliation I agree with both sides and oh gosh I need to live that then and I just I'm I don't know I'm just not into politics that much and I, I just I feel like it's a it's it's a waste of waste of my energy excuse me sorry guys <laughs> but yes i'm loving myself and i'm loving myself some more for 2024 and for step 11 day because that's what you're supposed to do on step 11 days is love yourself and love yourself some more i'm gonna love myself and love my ability to be with my family and love the ability to get the work that i can get done and i can't get enough work done i'm not totally behind right now right now i'm just right on point I do have an intuitive Tuesday I could edit and probably try to get out there, but oh, it's a lot of work. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, if any of you guys also watch my channel, what do you think of intuitive Tuesday? What do you think I could do to improve it? Do you think it should be let go? You know, like, what do you think about the monthly horoscopes? Do you think that they could be improved? I don't know. What do you, what would you like to see with the Mystic Kill Billy? I would love to have your ideas and stuff so there you guys go i think that that's all that i got for the beginning of this step 11 i woke up feeling really really good i'm really really happy about life and i'm excited about the day my capricorn self says i really wish we were working my libra moon says yay family friend time <laughs> So I will enjoy it while I'm out and I will get done all the work that I can get done because we're not leaving till afternoon. So I've got me four hours to get some stuff done and my Capricorn sun can get that done and then my Libra moon can go socialize and have a good time. All right, guys, <laughs> that's all I got for you for the beginning of step 11. I will see you on the other side. All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the flip side of step 11. So the goddess that I worked with in my Kundalini Yoga was Goddess Maeve and she is the queen of fairies, which I just loved. And I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm gaining my wings and learning how to fly over and over again. Um, somebody told me, I remember one time I was like, I feel like a butterfly just came out of my cocoon and this guy was like, you do know that as a human, we do that over and over again. And I was thinking, yeah, good point. I've done it many times and I'll do it many times more. That's, it's just beautiful. Anyway, so I think that there's more journaling on this self-love than there has been in the past. I have my past self-journal, self-love journals. I could, <laughs> all right, let's look at this. Let's see. 
yeah yeah i did not write that much in the past see this is step 11 this is step 12 so yeah i did not write that much because like step 9 and step 10 is <laughs> on step 9 step 10 step 11 step 12 is like yeah and then that was that was the second year here's another year yeah here's my previous years step 11 here's this year's step 11 so definitely different way more goes into it now so I'm I'm really getting to where I'm convinced since they said he was going to add more into it not less so I don't know I don't know I don't know but I am loving it and I also did my ascension questions which I love and I need to have those answered for my path moving forward it really helps me to dedicate myself more fully to this path. Now, one thing I don't think Sensei really has made it clear uh, from, I know from step eight, we've been working on beginning to work on manifesting an outer manifestation. Before step eight, it was all inner. Step eight was still inner, inner self-love, but we began to work on Figuring out what we want to manifest in the outer world. Step 9, he did a little bit more. Step 10, he did more. Step 11, he was like, on step 10, there should have been four things that we're trying to manifest on the outer world. And to narrow it down to three things that we want to manifest. So, I didn't do it that way. I really didn't. I don't have any outer manifestations written down. On my step nine, step ten. I mean, I was saying I want to, I want to manifest my glow. I want to manifest my confidence. I was, I was writing down inner, in inner things, not outer manifestation things. And it's hard for me to figure out what I want to manifest in the outer world. I don't know. My heart either wants to manifest something, wants something, and then I go for it and I get it, or I just, I'm like, oh, I've got everything I want right now. I'm not really going for anything in the outer world, as far as outer world goes. But with that being said, I do want to manifest a new, <laughs> anyway, I wrote it down. I wrote down my three outer manifestations today. So I have those, I have it narrowed down to three. They're not inner. I have my inner, I have from step 10, I copied three of my outer or my inner manifestations and, I, and then I picked three outer manifestations that I kind of want to focus on and I have different ways that I'm going to move forward on those three today. So, um, and then my ascension was just very informative, I would say. Informative and helpful. It, answering these questions, knowing these questions is going to be helpful in my journey moving forward. So yeah, now that I'm, you know, I, that's why I love vlogging this. And, you know, you really learn something whenever you teach it, which I'm not trying to teach. I'm just vlogging this. But anyway, now that I think about it, I'm thinking of different ways that I can move forward on these outer manifestations today in a way that I can love, which is what Sensei said to do. And, and Sensei said in everything that we do, try to love and add more love to it today. So I can do that. I can continue to do that. Um... It's almost time for me to get ready to go. I really don't have time to do any work like I was wanting to get done. I was hoping I could get done a little bit of work, but, you know, that's just my Capricorn sun. My Libra moon's ready to go out and socialize. I think, I think we're getting there. So I know that whenever I'm out and about and at the park and at the concert, I'm going to have a blast. It's going to be so much fun. I'll add love and I'll love myself for doing it and love it and love it some more. But I also know that I can tell a lot of things about how I'm doing things with the Mystic Hillbillies about to change. It's about to really change up and I'm excited about it because it's going to change up in a way where I can love it more. So I think that more people can love it more too. As far as Mystic Hillbilly stuff goes, I love doing the Kundalini Yoga today. It was such a wonderful thing to connect with the queen of fairies and you know in the archetypical way i'm not trying to idol worship here people don't understand but that's okay you don't have to understand and um the breath work with christian Ryder was very wonderful i had no earthly idea what 
she was activating what line or anything, but I felt a tingling in my back, and then she said that it was in the back, and she felt tingling too, and so I was like, okay, see, that's why I think I don't necessarily have to know. I'm more of a visual learner, so if they would have like a thing where it was like, this is the one we're activating today, you know, like a visual, I could definitely visualize it with them, but because they don't have that, which they don't have to have that, it's not necessary, I just go with the flow and allow things to be activated. I trust that the proper activations are happening within me too, as I do it with them and with the Serious Joy family. So it was wonderful. Um, apparently we activated a whole plane today and it was our back and I feel activated. So I think that it worked really well. And yeah, guys, I'm excited. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited to be doing this. I'm excited to move forward. And I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunities. So this will be aired on step 21. Leo, which happens to be at 1 a.m. on August 13th. That'll be the day that this video comes out and you guys will see it. So I thank you guys so much. Oh, and also, you know, in the previous, at the beginning of the 40 Days of Self-Love, I was really, I was kind of frustrated with audiences that I imagine don't like me. And so I don't know why I imagine that people don't like me watch my stuff. I should imagine the people that do like me. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I was kind of like, you know, hey, don't comment about stuff. Um, any Anything, any problem I talk about today, I'm going to have solved tomorrow, but you're seeing this 10 days later. So it's probably already solved. I still love your comments. I, I still, you know, like the Step zero went out and I had a comment about that tough day and a prayer. And I just, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for your prayers. I'm so grateful for your love that you send my way. I receive that love and I hope to multiply that love. And I hope to use it in a way that makes you proud that you prayed love and blessings on my life. So I thank you guys so much for wanting to help me, wanting to help me solve my problems. And I, I do welcome, I welcome all your comments and I'm so thankful for all of you. So I do want to say that and I thank you guys so much for watching this 40 Days of Self Love vlog. And oh goodness, I, 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 I love hate that I made this my tagline. So I'm just going to say that today. I should love, love it, right? So we'll see if I, I might end up changing the tagline because I love, hate it. Because I, I don't like the idea of, you know, do this. You know, it's, I, don't, I think it's an old thought now. It's not really in the new. <laughs> but people used to be like, it's, it's 2018. Get with the time. It's 2000. It's, the, the year is the current year. So get with the time. <laughs> but I really like making like, things rhyme with the year and with the self-love journey I do it once a year so this is my 2024 self-love journey so I decided to just make my end tagline love yourself some more in 2024 but honestly I you know it bothers me that it, it ties into that mindset of it's the current year so da 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 da, da. but whatever it's 2024 love yourself some more and We'll see how we go from here. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And do love yourself some more today because you deserve it. All right, loves. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.